Our next delegation is uh, Mr. McNally. Thank you very much, and uh, thanks for the opportunity to come and speak to you tonight. I understand that after two hours in the meeting, no one listens to what anyone has to say, so I'm not sure if this is going to fall on deaf ears or not, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Uh, I'm not against the development in Hungry Hollow, first of all, and I am a long-time resident. Um, but I am here to talk, and the hat I'm wearing tonight is as president of North Alton Golf and Country Club. And I do have a concern with, uh, I guess, the town's uh, activity or arrangement with uh, Madame Holmes. And uh, I've had, and Mr. Arnold has, and Mr. Johnson, who's with me here tonight, we've had a series of meetings out here with various people, staff members, about our concerns. And what I want to do tonight, the, the idea of me speaking tonight, is to bring everyone up to speed about what we've been discussing for the past months. And after uh, this deal has been inked and it's gone away, I don't want the golf club uh, to be left out of the equation. And uh, as we all know, we have a beautiful asset of the town over across the street. And it's my duty to make sure it's protected, representing the owners of the golf club. Now, to give you a, I'll give you a little history, and then I'm, I will tell you what I hope we can do. I'm not here to cause a problem. I hope I'm here to solve a problem, if possible. The land in question that's going to be developed uh, was previously owned by a group of people. And even back 15 years ago, they came to the golf club and said, we'd like to donate that property to you when we do our development. It's not needed. And uh, when the property was sold, uh, the people who owned it were good enough to pass on their request to Madame e. Holmes, and Madame e. Holmes were more than eager to honor that request as, w as well. And we received a memo from Madame e. Holmes saying that they would be more than willing, unless the town <laughs> blackmailed them out of it. They didn't say that. The town took the property. They would like us to have the property. So we thought that was great. We have two property owners that want to make an agreement. It's like you living next to your neighbor and you want some room for your hedge. And he says, I'll give it to you. And the town comes along and says, no, you won't. I want it. So I understand the way it works. So I came out and I talked to Steve and uh, I told him my concern. And Steve told me that <laughs> he was very candid with me. He told me the town was going to take the property. And I mentioned it didn't make me very happy that we'd have to try to fight for the property for our rights. And I was also told at the time that he didn't know if he had any use for the property, but the property was going to be taken to make the council look good. And I understand that, too. It looks like you've taken something from the developer. But that doesn't do me any good. So I left a little annoyed. And then I came back, and then I had another meeting, and uh, we discussed... Uh, I discussed with Steve the possibility that, that if we back out of the situation that after the town acquired the property, let's say you're going to take the property, you're probably going to win the property even though it was offered to us, would you be willing to accommodate us after the fact and give us a small strip, there's about nine acres of property there, to protect our borders. Now I'll tell you the concern why we wanted the property, it's risk management, simple as that. The property in question backs on two of our golf holes, 13 and 14, and you have quite a few members of staff that golf there. Golf balls are being hit in there all the time. So we want some protection. I don't, I don't think it's good for you to have the property or else you're going to have a liability if it's there. We want protection from vandalism. And we like some protection along the borders of our property. And we thought we had this risk pretty well settled. Now I understand that the region is suggesting that a trail system doesn't does not go through there. Maybe I'm right or wrong on that. So I don't know what you're going to use for the property. I'm suggesting or looking for some just some some uh, understanding or some reassurance that the town will at least deal with us on this problem, on this piece of property that uh, we've been offered but have not been able to receive because of the town's actions. And I'm looking for your reply on this, some reply on this, how we're going to solve this risk management, this risk management process. Um, 
I don't know how many people realized this was this this process was going on. Uh, now, at the time of us coming in this, in, and discussing that we wish to have this property, which was offered to us, we had research done that, and you can correct me if I'm wrong on this, that showed that the town had no interest of this property. There's no trail system through there, even on your trail plan. There's no document. There's no documentation and that you wish to have this in some master plan at some time. So all I'm really looking for tonight, and I know I can't uh, get a, a definitive answer, is I want you to realize what's gone on. We've had, we did not write a letter because we've had at least six meetings out here. We were in the process as far as I was concerned. I met with Steve twice. We've met with the Parks Department. We've met with Bruce. And we came up with a scheme just to bring you up the, the way it was left. And I just want to try to get a reassurance that it's on track, that it's not forgotten. And this scheme was not guaranteed by Mr. Andrews or the Parks Department. There's no guarantee from them. But this is what we talked about, that the, after you receive the property, we could draw a line along the borders of maybe a little piece that would protect us. And in return, we would uh, also like to try to help the town out, as long as we weren't blackmailed, maybe uh, give some money towards your trail system. And presently, we're also working on helping you out, uh, which I think is a real good idea with your Remembrance Park watering system. We haven't gone to our board of directors, but we are discussing um, doing the work and putting that system in with you people supplying the raw materials. So what I'm getting at is one hand washing the other. And I know this deal, I'm not trying to muddy the waters up on this deal, I said that. But I just want to make sure that when the deal's done, everyone around the table knows that we do have a concern there. And uh, we want everyone to know about it. And we want, I'd like to know that if, yes or no, you're willing to help us solve the mutual problem, the risk management problem. Thank you.